So the law of cosines, I'm just going to write that down so it looks more official. The law of cosines is not as cool. I mean, actually, it's a good, it, it's super helpful, but it's really like cumbersome and long and people are intimidated by it, which actually, if you get it down, it makes you look even smarter. So you might want to perfect this. But this is it, okay? And the reason I think it's annoying is there's three versions of it. And I'd rather you just knew one. So it takes a non-right triangle, right? And it gives you the ability to solve for some stuff. And remember, designations in, in triangles are capitals are angles. So we have capital A corresponding, and this is the angle, corresponds to his side, which is lowercase a. So angle A yields or kind of gives way to side little a. Over here, we might have, you know, capital B, which is angle B. And then so therefore, little b would be side B. <laughs> and then same thing. We have angle C, and this is C here as a side. So there's this crazy formula. And the way, the reason I'm not going to write all three is I'll show you. It is, this is the formula. It's a squared equals b squared minus c squared. Actually, that's a plus. I better not. I'm not going to misinform the entire globe right now. So this is a plus, And then you have minus 2bc cos a. OK? Check. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, what I think is important is that this side, the side you're solving for, <coughs> or the side that you need, or whatever, has to correspond to this angle, right? And the B and the C are the other guys. So let me explain that. So again, if I knew this angle, I'd probably be solving for this, right? And it would go here. And even if I'm not, just be sure that the lowercase side is on the other side of the equals and it corresponds to this angle. So for instance, fans, if this were cos big B, what would be here? B squared, and this would be A squared and C squared. If this was cos C, what would be here? Little c, and this would be little a and b, right? So all that matters, I think, you know, because again, I'll do it really quick, but basically when I learned it, it drove me nuts because they gave me this. They're like, another version of this is a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b, right? Oh, what a coincidence. These match and the other two are here, and let's do it for c. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos capital C, right? So what kind of a fool would bother to memorize those? You just memorize one, the angle and his corresponding side are opposite, like that. Okay, so now you're ready to like do some actual hardcore math problems. I'll give you an example of when you'll actually use the law of cosines, okay? So in real life, nobody actually puts these letters by the triangles. They just give you a bunch of numbers and you're supposed to like be a prodigy and figure it out. <coughs> okay, so here's a classic example. So we'll have... Okay, so non-right triangle right here. And let's call this like, this pen is falling apart. Let's call this like, you know, whatever, uh, 36 degrees. And maybe it'll say X and it'll say 7 and 5. Now that's a perfect scenario because the angle corresponds to the side I don't know and I have the other two. So my law of cosines would be X squared equals the other two, 7 squared plus 5 squared, minus 2 times 7 times 5, cos 36. Notice the cosine of the angle matches the guy on the other side of the equals. And that's it. And then you just do a bunch of fancy schmancy math, like, okay, blah, 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 squared, you know, and I'm going to add all these up, times them by the cosine 36. Don't forget at the end, you're going to root both sides to get your solution. And that's it. So law of cosines, you know, people hate on it. I don't think it's that hard. I think it makes sense. But you have to have attention to detail and remember that the guy on this side of the equals corresponds to this angle, which is exactly how we had it here. This guy corresponds to the 36. There he is. There's the cos 36. And that's it. So law of cosines, I think it's doable. And remember, if you're having a hard time with your Algebra 2 class at your local high school, you can take it online and then the uh, credits will be transferred back to your school uh, when you pass it there.